Corruption, violence, and ethnic conflict. These are some of the subject matters discussed at the Summit of the National Alliance for Development, NADEV. The theme of the summit was peace and democracy, dialogue for development, and its goal was to profess solutions to the issues facing the country. We are here for a struggle of our survival, for our survival, for our unity and peace of Nigeria and to ensure we discuss the issue of insecurity as far as the nation is concerned. So we cannot keep quiet. That's why a whole lot of us that are here today are here for our collective interest, for our collective right as a nation. I will represent the entire nation. At the level that we have, we are telling Mr. President, by virtue of our press conference today, to give proper accounts of how much has been obtained proper account of how much have been re recouped from reluted money that was stolen, how much are we even owing? Then why do we have to go for a loan for every project? The Nigerian ruling class is fingered as a major architect of the artificial problems plaguing Nigeria. The crisis we have in this country are artificial crises created by the ruling elites from the north, from the south, Muslim, and Christians. So it is a problem created by these elites. In the course of the summit, the conveners and participants held a closed door meeting. The agreements reached are communicated. We had a good deliberation. Uh, we look at uh, some critical area, like one, the unity of the country that has been threatened, the issue of security, the issue of uh, our economic. And also the issue of this uh, debt profile. So at the end of the day, uh, we resolve that uh, there is certain resolutions, even though it's not yet out for now, but we intend to go through it. Subsequently, it will be sent out and also draw the attention of government on some of these issues. And we're likely to reconvey anytime soon again and take a concrete decision on those issues. The organization stated that poverty was also an issue it aimed at addressing. Of course, poverty has been there before now, but this time around it's even getting out of hand. We are likely going to fall into second recessions with the way it is. And that's why we are concerned about the debt profile and whatever. They keep collecting debts, and at the same time, Nigerians are not feeling any impact of this. Where are those money going to? Why are we going where we are? And where are we where we are? So it's an issue of concern to all of us. And this is just a problem. The organization threatened to approach the court if their recommendations are not heeded to. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Alibanke Odunuyi.